unfriended dark web. The movie that makes you not want to be on the internet anymore. Yeah, that's kind of a, the, 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 the gist of this movie is the internet. It can be fucked up. And now, it's sequel to Unfriended. The first movie was more of a, there's a, a bad spirit and it's in the internet and it's killing these people. And, well, it was a girl who got like the crappy out of her. They made fun of her, posted the videos, and then she came back and revenged on her friends through like their constant uh, Skyping of each other, group Skypes, they, and she killed them all. So, uh, you know, to avenge, avenge her being like tortured or whatever. I think that was this movie. I believe that was this, this first one. Why do, I, why do I have to guess this? I should know this type of stuff while making a review for the sequel, Dark Web Unfriended Dark Web. It was a uh, interesting movie. The first one, as I said, I believe was the one with the spirits and all that crap with the girl who was already dead and she killed herself and the blah, blah, blah. So this one, I was expecting more of that, Dark Web, but uh, no, uh, there has to be spirits involved somehow. This, this has to be supernatural. If it's a sequel to a movie that was about a supernatural being in a, you know, torturing people through the internet, then this one would have to be that. Right? No, no, no. They took it completely out of that realm and into the dark web where people, uh, real people in other parts of the world, use the internet, the worst parts of the internet, to do bad things to people, including kidnapping, murder, setting them up for things, doxing them and, and swatting them. Very many bad things that literally do happen on the internet in our, like in society nowadays, so that was that was interesting to me. I was I was not expecting this movie to be like like interesting, or to, it, it, I have to give the movie more credit than you kind of think it would like deserve uh, for for actually being interesting and using the facts that people do do this on the internet and this happens people get kidnapped and their videos of them being tortured are sold all around the world and uh, on the dark net and it's a terrible thing it's a terrible terrible stuff and so this guy takes a laptop from his job which you is you if you see the trailer you get the gist of the story he gets the laptop he starts going through the laptop his friends are more tech savvy so they're giving him a little help of what to do and then he finds out there's a lot of bad videos on this laptop and they conclude it's from the dark web and then the person who originally owned the laptop gets into their little skype video because everybody for some reason i guess a lot of people in like do Skype groups and stuff like that. So yeah, so the person wants their laptop back because there's a lot of information on the laptop. There's a lot of, I guess, money for them to be making and some very bad people don't want them having the laptop. They want him having the laptop. And so the story goes where they're trying to get the laptop back to him. So he's threatening to hurt the main guy's girlfriend and his friends and do all this other stuff. and. Slowly but surely, without by not cooperating, things start getting crazy. And now, certain parts of the movie, you're like, okay, that's cool. Like I've seen in other movies where a person would walk in front of a camera and their image is blurred out. Yeah. But I think that was the weirdest, like the part, weirdest part to me is how they revealed who the bad guy was or the original owner of the laptop. Is you know he's constantly every time he's in front of a camera, it's you know a weird voice and there you can't see who he is and you just know that he's there and you know so you know the whole movie is taking place through the camera the screen of the uh, laptop kind of like how search searching did also and i believe the first the majority of the first one also did that uh where it was all in the computer screen's view um of you looking at the computer screen or whatever and uh so yeah the, the movie that was the weirdest part is when they were the guy walks in front of the computer screen and then, or his computer, his camera, he's in front of his camera and he's talking and then all of a sudden it just de-digitizes. So it's like, did he have like a device on him that he just was like, okay, boop, boop. And then it turned off that it, uh, it stopped affecting every camera around him. Uh, so yeah, that was weird. Um, and then the movie, you know, it just goes on, you know, with the slowly murdering the people through different 
different ways that you would believe would be with like you know through the dark web where they have hundreds of soldiers all around you and you don't know who any of them are and they're all playing a game you're a part of a game and that's what inevitably inevitably they find out that they were just all together just a part of a game this was just something the dark web wanted to do and uh so the movie it, it, it get to like if if you like creepy dark web stories and stuff like that that's basically just a one big t movie of a dark web creep story uh which i liked i i enjoyed the movie i i like getting creeped out by stuff like that especially stuff in real life like when it comes to like horror movies where it's ghosts and things like that i'm not too creeped out by it but when it's like something like everyday technology and people of like using technology like black mirror type of stuff like there was an episode of black mirror where people from the dark web were messing with people in normal and making them do crazy things that is what intrigued me about this movie and it is it is they used that well they did that well in this movie so i say the movie's worth watching um just not in theaters. I don't think that uh, this sequel to a kind of not good movie, a crappy movie. Okay, I could say it. The first one was crap. But this one, a all right sequel to a crap movie, isn't really worth watching in theaters. I believe you could just rent this. Or like if your friend decides to rent it, watch it with them. I don't know. Just don't pay full price for it. Just enjoy the movie. The cheapest way you can do it. Without, I guess, illegally stealing it. Because, you know... Don't go on the dark web and steal a movie because they might steal your information and hunt you down. So, uh, enjoy the movie. Have a good day. Adios.